Alex Anglu talking about white gloves, how to make white accessible. Hello. Um, so, in the latest uh, half of a year, I've uh, noticed uh, that not many easy ways and main maintainable ways have there existed lately to use wine uh, for, a, for a user who does not really want to and is not that uh, used to using the command line. Um, the only choices we've had till now is uh, plain Linux, which is an app which has been very quiet lately and uh, is not being maintained really. And uh, uh, things like Lutris, which is uh, not uh, which is not very universal. It's only for games. Uh, so I found out that after all, Wine has some of its own APIs now to aid the installation of different programs that uh, need configuration, like uh, Wine Tricks. Uh, so I decided to incorporate all of the Wine um, ecosystem into a GUI uh, to make it easier for uh, the user to use their Windows programs, which they might need from the OS that they previously used. Um, this is just an, a very simple program. It's, uh, it has few lines of code and uh, it's basically as simple as creating a wine prefix just like this, for example pinball. I want to name this wine prefix pinball. I create the wine prefix and the wine configuration window opens which means that the wine prefix is being um, created. When I'm done I can go into this menu. This menu has every um, everything that wine uh, allows the user to do with this wine prefix. Uh, for example, I can have wine configuration or for example a command line <coughs> to configure or to run something into the the environment that the wine prefix has. Um, I can all I also have the wine tricks um, program which I can launch just like this. Uh, it's kind of late, I guess. <laughs> and um, I can, of course, open the prefix directory too. This is how it all works. It's pretty simple. So if I want to install an app, I can select run C file and open it. When it opens, the the .exe file will run normally as a wine application inside the wine prefix. Uh, where is it? There it is. And I install. After installation, uh, the program should normally, as usual, uh, be on my menu. Sometimes the menu does not update correctly. Uh, I could not do anything about this currently. I don't know how to fix this. The only thing I have done till now is just kill the panel. It restarts. So it updates kind of the the application the applications it has. And here's our installed app. It will take a while to load. There it is. <laughs> feels nostalgic, right? <laughs> um, I can do this with multiple wine prefixes. For example, I can have a wine prefix for M MS Office. Uh, 
notice that I can't use any character uh, for uh, the wine prefix names uh, and you'll see that why is that in a while the wine prefix is being created and it normally works now if you want to uninstall an application you don't need to hustle with uninstallers you just delete the wine prefix just like this and uh, there's a search, there's a basic, very basic actually, uh, search functionality amongst the white prefixes, like if the name contains this, then show it. And this is what the whole app is made of. It's a, it's a very simple app. It just uh, works around wine. So if you want to, excuse me for this. If you want to see the code of the program, it's, avail it's available on GitHub. Here it is. This is the program. And uh, it's actually a very simple program. It has a tiny source code. Uh, what actually does all the work behind is this class, which has a lot of static uh, functions, which basically are just a construction of bash commands and uh, just running them. I don't even use libwine for this. It was my first one. It was my first project. Um, so I I kind of go like here's the, your wine prefix. Here's and here's what you do. For and for each entry, you have like one of these. Um, uh, functions which try to uh, execute the program and catch whatever happens and uh, this is this is how it all works it's it's a pretty simple program uh, for this reason because I might have had an, a command exception problem not, not really vulnerability because this is not an app that has to do with the internet. Uh, it's a problem more. It's more like a problem. So if someone were to use strange characters and the command failed, that would be an error in the app where it shouldn't have been. So I, I do not allow every character to be used when I'm creating an, a wine prefix. This, however, this, for example, the, this space brings up this error of sorts or whatever other character except ASCII characters and the basic Latin characters actually and the down and the down underscore, right? This is all. This is how the program is made. This is a very simple program. It was my first project ever to be uploaded in an app in a store, and it hasn't received lots of love lately because I've been working on a on a project, another project that is uh, on the works on being released. However, this one is uh, will be on the future maintained to perhaps update the menu if I find some way to do this and uh, perhaps I will also add uh, some more wine functions like for example um, the task manager wine has in itself that's all there is
Any questions on that matter? Of course. Um, uh, seems like wine tricks isn't working. Yeah. Only. I don't know why. Okay. So I was just asking, can you show the wine configuration? Can you select that in the menu? So does that give you different configuration options or is it? Okay. It's just the normal wine configuration program okay and so you, you I'm just wondering if um, do people is it easy for people to for a user to kind of figure out what options they need for their application if they're trying to run something in wine of course uh, scenes most people use either wine tricks most not experienced people uh, use either wine tricks to install their programs, either just follow some uh, tutorial on the internet and usually that tutorial includes programs like this. Uh, I, won't, um, I won't try to make a better UI for something like this which is uh, wine specific because um, all I do is just wrap wine under a nice and wine prefixes under a nice GUI. Uh, this is a wine specific program. Yeah, I'm just wondering if it might be helpful to link to online documentation just to make it easier to figure out which configuration settings you would want. Definitely. Um, I, I could. I could uh, imb embed that on the README on the GitHub. Yeah, I mean, I, I've done a lot of work with WineLib, so I'm familiar with Wine, but um, yeah, but I wouldn't, if I just picked this up and if I wanted to uh, port a Windows app, then it would, uh, yeah, it would be helpful for me personally as a user to be able to look at the online documentation as well. Okay, that's interesting. That's a nice, that's a very nice, uh, thing I will might do in the future. Anyone else with a... Hmm. Um, so what is a wine prefix? Yeah, a wine prefix is actually um, a folder which uh, has a Windows environment in it, a Windows-like environment, not necessarily a Windows, the Windows environment. Um, normally, wine has a default wine prefix in which the default C uh, folder is in, if you know what I mean. Uh, if, you, if you want, you can use this to run wine apps just casually. However, it's not recommended because sometimes, in, especially in wine, where it's the Windows uh, environment is not that uh, perfected. Uh, sometimes apps might clash together or sometimes you want to sandbox apps in one, in one environment without them having to um, leak out into other Windows apps. This is what wine prefixes are for. You create another environment for an app and another one for another app. And uh, you manage your Windows apps like this. So if I'm a new user and I just want to install pin, uh, Pinball, um, why do I have to understand the, the wine prefix first before I can actually um, use your app application? Uh, because I mean, your application is pretty simple and I would maybe prefer something like like a recommendation, either use the wine prefix equal to the app you want to install, or you just get rid of the wine prefix thing, but then again, it would be difficult for somebody who is more advanced and understands what wine prefixes mm -hmm. are. So is there a better way of maybe doing that? 
so it's simpler for a beginner and also intuitive for for somebody who has more experience mm -hmm. uh, so normally uh, you don't uh, you don't have to use multiple one prefixes you can just create one using the plus button because if you have no wine prefixes if I delete pinball night right now it says no wine prefixes create one the usual uh, so I prompt the user to create a new wine prefix it would do it he will do it and through this if he says for example whatever wine prefix he will create the wine prefix and he will be able to run the XC file even if he wants to put everything in this wine prefix, in this default wine prefix. This is more like an app that uh, allows you to um, organize your Windows apps more easily and use wine more easily, of course. Uh, so, because using wine prefixes is sometimes recommended on uh, tutorials on online, and uh, they have like create that folder and then open wine safety in the folder to uh, to get it ready and uh, crazy stuff uh, so that's why I just made this to use wine prefixes easily so in this case I would I would also recommend you to maybe include the um, help manual or something like that like uh, the, the woman previously mentioned, I think that would help a lot for, for new users who just open up the app and Definitely. have no understanding mm -hmm. of what they're looking at. Mm -hmm. I might uh, create a wiki on GitHub and to uh, link to that from the store. <laughs> Sorry, I have one other question. Um, so when you have the multiple wine prefixes, are you actually installing multiple versions of uh, the Windows libraries, or do they all rely on the same version of the Windows libraries? Not sure uh, what you mean about. I just create the wine prefixes using, as I said before, just the normal commands. So okay. I just create the folder and then I run the preparing command. To answer that question, I believe that. Uh, behavior for wine is to use um, the system installed libraries uh, from the system and only do overrides if they're manually specified. So both prefixes don't actually duplicate that much extra data. There's a couple of things that get duplicated, but most of it is is contained in the system wine installation. It's not it's not placed into each different prefix. Any other? question no thank you for your time mm. Cassidy shall I remove this